Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with your host Shenra. We're currently playing as Duke Negus I Zari of Axum. He is the Duke of Axum. And uh, we last episode we got started, we got him married, which is good. We got his son married as well. The, our wives don't like us, but that's fine. Who, who cares what they think? long as they give us heirs, right? We already have an heir, so I honestly don't care what this wife does. As long as she doesn't try to kill us, then we're okay. And our son has a wife, so let's hope they start making babies quickly, because we don't have any grandchildren. And, you know, people people in this game can die young. I mean, I've had, you know, kids die at, like, four years old. So if that happens, and you expect that person to grow up and be your heir, you're, you're up shit creek, because you need to have, probably better off to have more than one, you know, heir on the way. Anyway, what I want to do in this episode is get a look over our kingdom. Well, not our kingdom. It's a duchy, actually. Get a look over our duchy and see what we control, uh, what specifically we can put our little hands into and change directly, and things that we can't do, because there's a lot of things we can't do. So this is our council view. You can see our chancellor. He kind of runs the, the duchy for us. Uh, the marshal, he's supposed to be training troops. I don't think he's doing that right now, but why don't we set him to train troops? Now he has three things he can do. He can suppress revolts, he can research tech, or he can train troops. I want him to train troops in our capital. Our capital is represented by a, the flag of our uh, our family. Our chancellor can do... Man, he's got a mohawk going on. Our chancellor can do diplomatic relations, fabricate claims, or sow dissent. Normally what you do with your chancellor is you fabricate claims. Normally because it's the way you go to war. We have a, we have two ways to go to war right now because these two pieces of territory, Senar and Haya, are considered part of the Duchy of Axum. So we can go to war to incorporate them into our Duchy of Axum. Uh, but another way you can go to war is to uh, create these claims on other people's territories. And all you do is you leave your chancellor there, and over a long enough period of time, he will generate a claim for you and you, you pay a certain amount of money, you lose prestige, and then you're able to present these papers as if they're real, and they will allow you to go to war, and if you win the war, you will gain that territory that you fabricated claims for. It's simple as that. But for now, since we're just getting started, I want him to improve relations with probably Shia Caliphate, because they're the ones who are closest to us, who are probably going to be our biggest pain in the side. So let's try to make them a little happier with us. Let's see our steward. Um, I don't really want him to collect taxes because there's chances that things could go bad. See, peasants attack the steward is one of the possible outcomes. Not going to worry about that. Let's just research economy tech. Uh, spy master, he doesn't like us. It's okay. Uncover plots, build spy network, or study technology. Well, they're all good. I mean, there's nothing that he can do here that's bad. I think we're going to do uncover plots. Eh, just to make sure no one tries to kill us, like our wife. She, our wife's definitely going to try to kill us, let me tell you that right now. Because every game I've played, even if you have a wife who, li who likes you a lot, uh, she can still try to kill you. Court chaplain, head and in inquisition. This is to uh, convert people, I think. County religion converted, yeah. So this will convert people to whatever your religion is. And this guy is also monophysite, so he will convert them to that religion. Is there a religious overview? There is. So we can see everyone over here is monophysite. So why don't we send him... We probably can't send him out of our territory, can we? Let's see if we can. No, we can't. We can only send him in our territory. So instead... Oh, have your court chaplain lead a religious delegation to discuss matters of faith with the local clergy. So we should have the official head of religion. Improve relations with the bishop, or the bishop, decrease relations with the bishop and spiritual leader. Hmm. Let's just research tech. You, there's nothing that can go bad from researching tech. At the, at the very worst, nothing happens. At the very best, they could improve the rate at which you uh, discover techs. All right, so we got our two women into court. So that's the council window, and you can uh, fire these guys and appoint new ones at your whim. Just take note, anytime you fire any of them, they will lose opinion of you. So this guy's opinion is 9 if I fired him, because he sucks. 10 sucks. We could probably find a better one right now. Uh, that little icon. 
Nope, we don't have anyone better than that at diplomacy. Okay. But if we fired him, he would lose like 25 opinion of us. That's that's opinion of us. It goes up from plus 100 and down to negative 100. This guy's a little bit negative, but eh, whatever. Let's see. Do we have any revolt risk? No. I uh, don't really need to see the dynasties. That's us, the Solomonids. Eh, opinions. Oh, they like us. These guys don't like us. So we're going to try to imp increase the opinion of these guys, the Shia Caliphate. Because they're close to us, and I think we would lose in the war to them. But these guys, we could probably beat them in a war. We'd probably beat most of these guys in a war. So if they don't like us, that's fine. But man, look at this. The whole world doesn't like us. Especially these guys. They're like, yeah, fuck you, Axum. <laughs> I don't think they even know who we are. But they don't like us anyway. You know, they saw us on a box of cereal and it said, you should hate Axum. And I was like, oh, okay. Man, this cereal tastes good. I, I must really hate Axum. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. All right, let's go over laws. Now, this is the window where you can actually change the laws of your country. And it's not super specific on what the changes do. They tell you in general terms what they do, but whatever. But it tells you what your current laws are. For succession, we have agnatic, cognatic, gavel kind. I believe, yeah, gavel kind means the titles get divided among children. I don't like that at all. Because if you have like four kids, then uh, each kid will get a different part of your kingdom or empire, whatever you have. I don't like that. Now what's this? Kingdom of Abyssinia. Ah. I didn't realize we were part of the Kingdom of Abyssinia. Is, no. Do we have Dejure Kingdoms? Dejure Kingdoms. Okay, so because we're in a region that is considered part of the Dejure Kingdom of Abyssinia, even though there is no real, like, you know, even though they don't control us, apparently we still can... Apparently we still are subject to their laws somehow. It's a little odd. That's what she said. Autonomous vassals. Well, I'm not going to worry about that. I, my plans for Axum here are to take over the rest of the Duchy of Axum, and then to finish conquering Nubia, and then to probably conquer Herer, and then as a last event, to take over Abyssinia and become the king of this part of the world. And then we'll look at taking over parts of this region and maybe attacking the Shia Caliphate. Maybe. I mean, goddamn, they're strong as hell. But, you know, it's worth a shot, man. It's worth a fucking shot. Oh no, profanity on the interwebs. Okay. So, I don't like Gavelkind. In fact, I really hate Gavelkind. So... I would love to change this as soon as possible. Either to seniority or primogen. I mean, even elective is fine. So, Gavelkind, if you really want to read the text here, basically, you have titles. If you have a kingdom and a duchy and a county, then your first son will get the kingdom. The second son will get the duchy. And the last son will get the county. And any other sons will get whatever titles are left over. If there's none left over, they get nothing. So with Gavokind, everything is distributed evenly. We have one son right now, so that means he gets all of it. That's fine. But the moment we have a second son, we'll run into succession problems. And I'd rather not have succession problems. So instead, I would like to choose elective. Now what elective does is everyone who is allowed to vote can vote. And I'm the Duke, so I can vote. And if there's anyone below us, I don't think there is. No, we, we own all this. So there's no one below us. But if there was anyone below us, then they would also get to vote. And there's always a possibility that someone would not choose the one that you want to win. But whatever. So we're going to do elective right now. Yes. There we go. Successor nomination. Nominate. Uh, I'm going to pick him. He's my son. There. He gets my vote. Unlanded sons. Following adult sons do not hold any lands. Yeah. Why don't you hold any lands? You you little bastard. We're going to give him some land. Uh, da, 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 da. 
grant title. We're going to give him the county of Atbara. There you go. So our son now rules Atbara. And he, he and his wife both left our court because they're going to go live in Atbara. So they get their own little crest over here for Atbara. And, but no, but they're still our son. They're still our heir. And uh, they're still going to take over when we die. Now this is just for the next generation. So when we die, we're going to play as him now. Now these are below this are ki actual kingdom or duchy or county, whatever you want to call it, laws. So we don't have any taxation right now, and that's kind of stupid. If you want to have money, you need taxation. So we're going to increase taxation right now. And then let time run, and hopefully it pass. Our son now favors himself as heir to the duchy. Okay, now the reason this popped up is because we used to not have any vassals, but now our son is our vassal. We go here, we go vassal. Okay, well, we had vassals, but what I meant is we didn't have anyone who could vote. But since our son owns this county now, he gets to vote. So it used to just have one here, because there's only one person who could vote, which is us. But now that we have our son has a, a landed area, he has a county, now he can vote, and he picks himself. So good for you, you picked yourself, you're amazing. Our son is so smart. Now, the reason I'm focusing on dollars so early in the game is because, at least what I've seen... Oh, here we go. Oh, the, the lords I've seen have approved the institution of limited crown authority law. Lords of Axum have approved it in yeah, small tax. That's fine. So we, it was approved. Oh, what the hell? Oh, other people want to become the uh, Duke here. You know whose other people are? These other two people are the Duke up, or the guy up there and the guy down here, I bet. Nubia and Abyssinia. Yep. These motherfuckers, because they have, la because they have land that is in the de jure Duchy of Axum, even though they're not actually controlled by us, they have these two lands that are in the Duchy of Axum. They also get votes as to who the uh, next person will be. But that's fine, because their votes will lose. <laughs> but yeah, as far as money goes, the reason why I'm focusing on money... Ooh, monthly balance is going up nice. The reason I'm focusing on money early on is the way... I oh. This is a form of declaration of war. Oh, god damn it. Herrera just declared war on us. Shit. We can call in allies. Navarra. Navarra's over here. They're not going to help us. Don't don't even... Anyway, like I was saying about uh, money. Uh, well, before we even get to discuss any of this, let me go ahead and raise our levies, because we need to. Money's important when it comes to war, because you can recruit mercenaries. And uh, mercenaries, here we go. Oh, we can't recruit any. Well, shit. Normally you can recruit mercenaries. They cost a lot of money, but man, are they worth it. So what is this guy doing? He's. What is this war about? The Holy War for Axum. Oh, it's a Holy War. Oh. I have not done any holy wars yet, so this will be interesting. I assume under holy wars that we can take lands a little more easily than uh, than normal. Like, you don't have to have a claim or anything, you just take it because it's the wrong religion. And these guys down here are Muslim, and we are Christian. So, yeah. Wow, uh, our king died. Or not king, the duke. The duke died in battle. Well, crap. That did not last long. So we are now playing as a 17-year-old kid. Jeez. Oh, man, this is not good. Uh, 
I'm not going to pick anyone as my successor because we need a kid first. And then I'll pick him. No heir for the dynasty. Yeah, I know. Sh have a son. Yes, that's my ambition. Have a freaking son. So this is us now. We are now Duke Asfiba of Axum. Okay, we have an absolutely crap... Oh. Why do you... Why do you suck? What happened? Oh, he died. Our previous guy died, so now we need somebody new. Let's take him. He has a learning of 20. That sounds great. There you go. So instead of zero... Yeah, sometimes the AI picks stupid people. Like, this guy's seven. Ugh. Thirteen. Much better. There you go. Come on, AI. You can do better than that. We have bad prestige. Damn. Well, whatever. Here we are. We're battling. We're not doing too hot. But we won. They're actually running into us. Yeah, they're attacking us. That's cool. So we're going to fight them again here in a few days. It says they'll arrive in June. Oh, what the hell is this? Offer to join a war from Yamarena Cuesto Zaragra. This dude. You're not at war. Are you? I don't know how to tell. I think it would tell us right here if he was at war. I don't think he's at war. So I think he's offering to join our war against this guy. But uh, I don't, I'm don't. i not sure it's necessary. Because we're probably going to kick this guy's kick this guy's ass. I think our military is better. Uh, we'll just we'll let it ride. Oh shit, we're out of time. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. Next time, we'll continue this war with Herrera. These bastards attacked us, so they're going to pay. We'll see what happens.